Hello. Hello, good evening. Hello. Yeah. Good evening. Hello. Hi, how are you doing today? Fine. Fine? Hi, Fine. Fine. And you? Fine. That's perfect. I'm okay. Thank you for asking. How many of you have finished the platform? ¿Cuántos terminaron ya? Me. Me. That I, okay, very good. Me, teacher. Me, teacher. Ya varios terminaron, ¿verdad? That's fine, yes, que me alegro. Yes. Did you download the certificate? Yes. Yes, teacher. Perfect, that's nice. Say so you're ready for next year. Ready to continue next year? Yes. yes. Okay, that's nice. Yes. We're almost done. Ya casi terminamos. So <laughs> enjoy your vacations and then you continue. Okay, so we're going to start. Uh, yesterday we started practicing the um, WH questions and we. Um, we completed one conversation, but there were two conversations in the exercise. Eran dos conversaciones. Ayer completamos la primera. So we're going to continue today with the second conversation. Remember that we were um, completing the conversations with WH words. So no, no vieron eso, <laughs> la respuesta. Okay, so in the first one, um, we have to complete with the WH expression or word. And here it says, do you go bike riding? And here it says, oh, about once a month. So what can be the, the WH word here? What, what, do, what do you go you by Mm, what no. do you no I don't think so how, how, do you, often? how do you how often yeah how often do you go bike riding oh about once a month and then the other person say I love to go bike riding I go every Saturday really and it says do you go usually at about one o'clock Uh-huh. Wow. What? Okay, si le dice, la respuesta es usualmente alrededor de la una en punto. Sería when. When do you, when do you usually practice? When do you go? ¿Cuándo vas? Podría when ser una. You... Y otra posibilidad. ¿Huh? Ok, si la respuesta fue usualmente alrededor de la una en punto. What time? What time do you go? Ok, what time do you go? Ah, usually at about one o'clock. Podría ser esa también. Okay. Oh, yeah. Do you usually mm, go with? Do you usually go with my sister? Come with us next time. What is the meaning? Yes. Who? 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 Do you, who? Yes. Who do you usually go with? Let us check the complete conversation. Yes. Como les decía, ¿verdad? Aquí podría ser what time or when. So, you were correct. Fueron correctas ambas respuestas, what time or when. En la primera dijimos how often y en la última who. So, let us practice this conversation. Let us repeat. How often do you go bike riding? How, how, often, how often do you go, go bike riding? By riding. One more time. How often do you go bike riding? How, How often, often do you go bike riding? riding? Oh, about once a month. Oh, oh about, about once a month. month. 
I love to go bike riding. I go every Saturday. I love, I love, I love to go bike riding. Ride. I go every Saturday. Really? What time do you go? Really? really? What really? time do you go? Usually at about one o'clock. Yes. Oh yeah? Who do you usually go with? Oh yeah. oh yeah. Who do you usually, do you usually go, with? Usually go with? My sister, come with us next time. My, My sister, sister, come, come with, with us, come with us next, time. next time. Okay, excellent. Do you have any question about vocabulary or pronunciation? No. No questions? No. no. Okay, so uh, we're going to practice pronunciation. I'm going to create a section for you to practice in groups. So I would like you to take a picture or a screenshot of the conversation. Yeah. Okay, ready? Yeah. All right. Okay, let us practice. But, ah, sorry, sorry. How often do you go bike riding? Oh, about once a month. I love to go bike riding. I go every Saturday. Really? What time do you go? Usually at about one o'clock. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Who do you usually? Uh, go with which? which my sister come with us next time okay. ahora si quiere usted pregúntele a Araceli bye say este how often do you go by oh about once a month uh, I love it to go by train. I go every Saturday. Really? What time do you go? Usually at about one o'clock. Oh yeah. Who do you usually go to with? My sister. Come with us next time. Okay, very good job. Just remember that it's bike riding. Riding. Right. Excellent. Uh huh. Let us repeat. Back riding. Back riding. Back riding. Bike riding. Bike riding. Bike riding. Excellent. Okay. So continue practicing. Okay. Yeah. Araceli, si quiere pregúnteme usted. How often do you bike riding? Oh, about once a month. I love to go by riding. I go every Saturday. Really? What time do you go? Usually about one o'clock. Oh, yeah. Who do you usually go with? My sister come with me next time. Come with okay. us. Come with us. Come yeah. with us. us. Uh -huh. Come with us next time. Next time. Excellent. Ahora podemos hacer de uno cada uno, sí. Ajá, una línea cada uno. Ajá. Bye. Sí. Si quieres. Sí, 
¿Empiezo yo? Sí. Bueno. Yes. How often do you go bike riding? Oh, about once a month. I like to, I love to go bike riding. I go every Saturday. Y sigo yo y por último Diana. Uh -huh. uh, how okay. often do you go bike riding? Oh, about one a month. I love to go by riding. I go every Saturday. Uh, really? What time do you go? Usually at about one o'clock. Oh, yeah. Who do you usually go with? Uh, my sister comes with you next time. Okay. Come okay. Let's remember it usually. Usually. Uh-huh, usually. Usually. Teacher, yes. what did usually. you say? Usually. What did you say in little b? Oh, about once, once oh. a month? Once a month, uh-huh, once, once a month. Once a month. Okay. Uh-huh, once a month. About. And about. About, uh-huh, about once a month. Mm -hmm. Y la última okay. que escuché es come with us. Come us. With us. Ajá, la última, en la última frase, come with us. Next time. Ajá, come with us next time. Ok. Ok. Cool. Okay. 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 Usually at about one o'clock. Oh, yeah. What do you usually go with? My sister, come with us next time. Okay, remember is who. Who? Yes, who. Who do you usually go with? Mm -hmm. Empiezo de nuevo. How often do you go by riding? Oh, about once a month. A lot to go by reading. I got a very Saturday. Really? What time do you go? Usually at about one o'clock. Oh, yeah. What do you usually go with? My sister can with you next time. Empieza otro. How often do you go by reading? By riding. By, by riding. Mm -hmm. Oh, about once a month. I love to go by riding. I go every Saturday. Really? What time? When do you go? Usually at about one o'clock. Oh, yeah. Who do you usually go with? My sister comes with us next time. Empieza la señorita Alexandra. Déjame ahora. ¿Sí? Yo ya lo confirmé. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Tenemos a la teacher que nos escuche, que nos escuche, que nosotros somos un buen equipo. How often do you go by riding? Oh, about once a month. Luis? Luis? I love to go by riding. I go every day, Saturday. Really? What time do you go? Usually about once a club. Oh, yeah. Who do you usually go with? My sister. Come with you next time. Inicio. How often do you go by riding? Oh, about once a month. I love to go by riding. I go every Saturday. Really? What time when do you go? Usually at about one o'clock. Oh, yeah? Who do you yeah. usually go with? My sister come with you next time. Okay, excellent. You're right. You're a wonderful team. Thanks, Sitch. 
Thanks. Thanks, teacher. Bueno, inicio, inicio yo. Yo sí. no sé Okay, we're missing, okay, no, 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 nobody. Okay, we're all here again. Okay, so let's continue. We're going to go ahead with the next exercise. Now, in this, we are going to read the answer and write the question. En este ejercicio les voy a dar tiempo para que lean la respuesta y ustedes van a escribir la pregunta. ¿Lo quieren hacer en grupo o quieren hacerlo ahí individuales cada quien? En grupo, teacher. En grupo. Ok, so les voy, tomen una captura y los voy a poner en grupo para que piensen cuál sería la pregunta. Acuérdense que tienen que leer la respuesta y arriba sería la pregunta. ¿verdad? Por ejemplo, aquí la respuesta dice, I like a lot of sports, but I really love volleyball. Entonces, ¿cuál fue la pregunta? Si, si yo digo, me gustan muchos deportes, pero realmente me encanta el voleibol. Entonces, la pregunta fue, ¿qué deportes te gustan? What sports do you like? Y así van a hacer con las demás, leer la respuesta y escribir la pregunta. Ok. So, lo voy a poner en grupo para que discutan cuál sería la pregunta. Ok. Ok. Let's see. Let's get in groups. Ya tomaron la fotito, ¿verdad? Ya. Yeah. Ok. Entonces, sí. como dice, I usually play with my sister and some friends. Está respondiendo con quienes juega, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Entonces, yeah. who, who do you play? Who do you, who do you usually play with, creo? Uh -huh. Usually, uh -huh. Sí, uh -huh. puede ser solo who do you play o who do you ah, usually sí, sí, play? Ajá. Como, como ustedes deciden, ahí creo que es lo mismo. Las dos opciones. Sí, creo que Las dos opciones creo que son válidas, sí. Uh -huh. Y en la otra que la respuesta es we practice on Saturdays. Ajá, sería. Eh, um, respondiendo cuando practica, ¿verdad? Entonces sería uh -huh. practice. Ajá, me pregunta. Sí. Nosotros practicamos los uh -huh. sábados, dice. Ajá. Sí, sí. Entonces, eh, Sería este. Vamos a ver cómo la. 
often how often do you or do we es que en la siguiente uh -huh. es que uh -huh. como responde nosotros empezamos acerca de la media no sé si es a mediodía creo uh -huh. entonces uh -huh. podría ser what time do you start o no pero yo digo la, la anterior donde dice en, la, en que la respuesta de we practice Ajá. Ajá. Está, Ajá. está diciendo que era who of them? Ajá. Yes. Do you go? Practice. Practice. Ah, sí, también. Ajá. Uh -huh. Sí, podemos poner eso. Uh -huh. How of them? Pero también, no sé si también es válida uh -huh. la que yo de when do you practice cuando practicas entonces como responde que mm -hmm. practicas el sábado podría ah, podemos poner las dos la, sí podemos poner las dos y practice how do you try how often how often how often do you go how often do you play how often do you play no sé si se me How often do you practice? How often do you practice? O, when do you practice? When do you practice? ¿Cuándo tú lo practicas? Sí, yo creo que sería when do you practice, porque estamos hablando ya de una tercera persona. Y la respuesta es, we practice on Saturday. Sí. Entonces sería, when do you practice? You practice. Practice. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Y la cuatro. La respuesta es. We we'll start, start about, about noon. About noon. Mm -hmm. Nosotros comenzamos. Alrededor del mediodía. We we'll start at about noon. Cuando conocí a Gay, yo nunca pensé que esto podría llegar a ser lo que es ahora. Y como está hablando de Wii. Sería más de ponerle day, ¿no? Days. Ajá. No, day, day de, de sujeto, de pronombre. En el anterior, ¿cómo le pusimos, Luis? Eh, how, how do, do you, you play? play? How do you play? Y entonces aquí, play? Ta, entonces aquí sí sería when do you play, cuando juegas. ¿O no? Como aquí dice que nosotros, ellos dicen que practican los sábados, ¿no? nosotros. Ajá. Sí. Entonces aquí, aquí tendríamos que usar day, por decir, o sea, cuando juegan ellos, va. O cuando practican deporte ellos. O qué días, o qué días practican ellos, va. Por eso digo yo que tenemos que usar el... Uh -huh. when, when they play. When. Pero es que tengo que usar el, el auxiliar porque estamos preguntando. Exactly. When do they? When do they? What do they? No. When do they play? When do the, they play? When do they play? Teacher, nos colabora. <laughs> yes. When do they play? Ajá, uh -huh. ¿y cuál era la respuesta? Mm, we no, practice the on question, Saturday. The question is, we practice on Saturday. Ok, si la respuesta es nosotros. ¿Practicamos uh -huh. en domingo, en sábado? Ajá, uh -huh. entonces, ¿cuál era la pregunta, dicen? What day do you play? 
Mm, yes, puede ser what day do you play o la otra. Es que escuché que dijeron dos opciones. Eh, When la que do they play? What day era una. Ok, esa está, esa está bien, ¿verdad? Está bien. Pero está hay otra. Bien. What day do you, sí. Lice, ¿tú tenías una? When do they play? Mm, está bien, solo que el sujeto habría que cambiarlo. Ah, okay. Si contestamos nosotros jugamos tal día, entonces ¿quién es el sujeto? Ellos, they. Mm, no. Acuérdense que they significa ellos. Ellos. Nosotros, Ajá. we. We play. Mm, sí, en la respuesta decimos nosotros, nosotros. jugamos tal día. Uh -huh. Pero si yo les pregunto a ustedes, ¿cuándo juegan ustedes? Ah, sería you. Ajá, exacto. When do you play? ¿Cuándo juegan ustedes? Ah, nosotros jugamos tal día. When you play. Okay. When do, you, do play? you play? When do you, do you play? play? Ajá. Y la otra que hicieron también es correcta. What day, What day? do you play? Uh -huh. Ajá. What day do you play? También es otra posibilidad y está correcta. Ok. Thank you, teacher. Ok. Ok, la otra es... La no, respuesta no. es... We start... At about noon. Inicia alrededor de, de del mediodía. Día. Entonces, ¿a qué hora? ¿A qué hora, a qué hora practicamos? ¿A qué hora, practicamos? ¿A qué hora juego? Uh -huh. Entonces, ya what time? ¿A qué horas inician? ¿A qué horas inician? Iría con uh -huh. what time? What time do they play? What time? ¿Cuál era la respuesta? No, ¿A qué hora inicia? What time do they play? La respuesta es We start up. Sí, puede ser start esa. Up. What time do you play? Do you play? What time do they play? We start at about noon. Okay, what a while, what time do they play? Puede ser, Alberto. Si no, nos quedamos con esa. Nos quedamos con esa o. Usted tiene o, otra, Dina. Ponemos otra opción. Otra respuesta. Juan. What uh, hour do you start playing? ¿A qué horas? Ellos, eh, ¿A qué horas inician a, a jugar? Uh -huh. Ok, si quieren no te... Entonces ya terminamos. Sí, sí, ya subieron. Ojalá que estén buenas. Sí. Yo digo que sí, porque eh, hicimos dos opciones en algunas. Dos opciones, ajá, en algunas. Y nada de que, ¿quién quería? Entonces, la segunda, yo creo que, bueno, la, la segunda, yo creo que sería como la única forma de, de, de preguntar, ¿verdad? 
Sí, ya terminamos, Bye. Ticha. Ok, we're going to check it. Ya escuché que dos grupos ya terminaron, así que yo creo que ya, ya podemos ir finalizando. Sí, no es... Ok, el missing two, solo faltan dos, cuatro. Ok, now everybody is here again. Ok, so I'm going to share the screen with you. So you can check the answers or First, we're going to discuss your answers. What is the question in this space? I usually play with my sister and some friends. ¿Cuál era la pregunta ahí? Who do you play sports with? Who do you play? Sports with. Sports with. Okay, that's a good option. Está gramaticalmente correcta. Es una buena opción. ¿Hay algo? Who do you usually play with? Excelente opción. Gramaticalmente correcta. Está bien. Ok, vamos con la tercera. We practice on Saturdays. ¿Cuál fue la pregunta ahí? When do you practice? When do you usually practice? When do you usually practice? Lo pudieron dejar como when do you practice and it's okay to excellent. Um, we start about noon. What time do you start? What time do you start? What time do you start? Excellent. That's good. What time do you play? También puede ser una excelente opción y está correcto. Okay, and the last one, la última, we usually play. Where do you usually play? Where do you usually play? Where do you play? That's excellent too. Okay. No sé si, how often do you play? Um, es como how often para frecuencia, entonces es como para que le diga dos veces, una vez al mes, todos los Entonces, días. eso no quedaría. Um, how often usually. No. Where, quizás, uh, usually, sí, si le pregunta a dónde juegas usualmente, where do you usually play, that's okay. Ahí sí. Teacher, y en la pregunta uno, podríamos haber puesto, do you like sports? Sí, sí, también. Do you like sports? Puede ser también. Aquí tenemos como la, según el ejercicio, aunque pueden haber diferentes maneras de preguntar, así como ustedes lo hicieron, y fue un excelente ejercicio, lo hicieron bien porque dieron una segunda opción y eran correctas. Estas son como, bueno, las, las que salen acá, pero también ustedes dieron otra opción que son válidas. And that's excellent. So the first one is, what sports do you like? I like a lot of sports, but I really love volleyball. And then we have, who do you play with? I usually play with my sister and some friends. When do you practice? We practice on Saturdays. 
What time do you start? We start at about noon. Where do you play? We usually play in your in our yard, but sometimes we play at the beach. Ustedes tenían otras opciones y también estaban correctas, como les repito. So, no sé si tienen alguna pregunta, alguna duda que les haya quedado con el ejercicio, del porqué de algo. Este es el perfect time para que pregunten. No. No, no questions. No questions. Okay, so we are going to move ahead. Let's see. Okay, we're going to start a next topic. Pronunciation of can and can't. Okay, what do you know about the auxiliary verb can? What do you know about that? ¿Qué saben o qué recuerdan? Es... Ok. Poder. No poder. Poder, poder o no poder, uh, refiriéndonos a yeah, habilidades, exactly. ¿verdad? Ajá. Uh -huh. Habilidad y también es para posibilidad. Uh -huh. El can, este es un verbo auxiliar. Uh -huh. eh, se dice verbo auxiliar porque puede llevar otro verbo a la par. En un tiempo como en el presente simple, que es el tiempo que hemos estado estudiando, miramos que no se pueden mezclar dos verbos o poner dos verbos en una misma oración en presente simple. Eh, también utilizamos el verbo auxiliar do y does, pero lo utilizamos solamente en negativas y en uh, preguntas, ¿verdad? De otra manera, no podemos ver dos verbos. De hecho, uno cumple una función de auxiliar y el otro sería el verbo principal. En este seguimos siempre en el presente, ¿verdad? Eh, pero usando el verbo auxiliar can, el verbo auxiliar can se utiliza para hablar sobre habilidad, posibilidad y también se utiliza para pedir permiso. ¿Tienen alguna pregunta con esto? Eh, ¿Algún ejemplo para pedir permiso, Tiche? Ok. Para pedir permiso, les voy a dar ejemplo. Um, digamos que um, está haciendo calor y yo necesito abrir la ventana, pero estoy en casa ajena o estoy en el salón. Entonces, ¿puedo abrir la ventana? Tengo calor. Can I, can I open the window? ¿Puedo abrir la ventana? Can I open the window? Estoy pidiendo permiso. ¿Puedo llamarte? Can I call you? Igual, pidiendo permiso. ¿Puedo ir al baño? Esa es la pregunta. ¿Can I go to the restroom? ¿Can I go to the restroom? ¿Can I go to the toilet? That's es lo mismo it. que may I go. May I go to the restroom? Yes. Both are for the same purpose. Mm -hmm. Okay. Digamos que may quizás es más formal, pero can es el más, es, es muy usado, can para pedir permiso. Mm -hmm. Si lo utiliza okay. may también. May okay. es otro modal okay. auxiliar, pero en este es solo para expresar posibilidad en el futuro y para pedir permiso. Mm -hmm. Okay. Y la estructura siempre va a ser así, primero, can. Sí. Para una yes, no question. Okay. Para una yes, no question. En todas estas, el can va a ir al principio, ya lo vamos a ver. Okay. En una pregunta, en una yes, no question, can, um, can I open the window? Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Y si se fijan, vamos a contestar siempre usando can. Se, si, se, si pueden ir como mentalizando que cuando vieron el verbo to be, 
en la respuesta se va con el verbo to be. Si estamos con uh -huh. el do, con el das, en la respuesta se utiliza el mismo. Lo mismo vamos a hacer acá con can. It's in, it, very simple. Yes, you can. Y si fuera negativo, no, you can't. No, you, can. uh -huh. you can't, right? No, you can't. Okay. I, igual acá, can I, call, can I call you? Yes, you can. No, you can't. Uh, can I go to the restroom? Yes, you can. Or no, you can't. Wait a minute. And toilet is the same. También pueden decir toilet. There are three different words. And uh, sometimes uh, you ask the question, what is the difference between restroom, toilet, and bathroom? Bathroom es cuando el bathroom es eh, el área. Es el área donde también se puede tomar un baño, donde se puede duchar, donde hay una ducha. Por eso se llama bathroom. Aunque si usted dice, can I go to the bathroom, igual le van a entender aunque no haya ducha. Pero, like, um, to establish a difference, ¿ok? Restroom es ya solo como el, el, ya, el lugar público, ¿verdad? Para ir a, a y toilet también, exclusivamente para, pues, necesidades. ¿Ok? En bathroom es yes, para necesidades y para ducharse también. That is the difference. Ahora también se pueden hacer WH um, questions. Simple. Si quiero saber a qué hora te puedo llamar, solo le voy a anteponer aquí okay. what time. Okay. What time can I call you? It's very simple. Como ustedes ya dominan la estructura, ya saben que solo le van a anteponer una WH question. That's it. Okay. ¿Qué puedes hacer? What can you do? What can you do? Oh, I can cook very well. I can dance. I can draw. I can write poems, etc. Okay. Then that's it. So this is the topic that we're going to be discussing about. Sí, quería explicarles que el can se utiliza para hablar sobre habilidades, eh, posibilidad y para pedir permiso. Esas son las funciones de este auxiliar, que es el que vamos a estudiar en estos días. Okay. So the first exercise that we have is the video about pronunciation. Es un poquito tricky, eso hay que ponerle bastante atención a este ejercicio de pronunciación porque es un poquito difícil eh, distinguir si estamos diciendo en afirmativo o en negativo. So that is important. Remember that you have this uh, video available so you can practice, you can listen, and you repeat as much as you want. So let us take advantage of that. I'm going to share my audio with you so you can see the video and listen. That's right. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn to sound natural when using can and can't. Let's start by listening to the pronunciation of can and can't. Can and can't. Notice the pronunciation of can and can't. I can act but I can't sing very well. This is a very simple pronunciation. If you notice the positive statement, I can act. Above the word, you can see how that is pronounced. Can, as the pronunciation symbol. On the other hand, the negative statement is pronounced differently. We will pronounce it as can't. Another tip that I would like to mention here is when it comes to negative statements, which are contracted, we can also follow the simple rule. If there's a contraction which ends in NT, you can think of extending that N. Let me illustrate that. I can't sing very well. This trick can also help with pronunciation. English pronunciation is not an easy topic and it requires a lot of listening and practicing. I would like to encourage you to practice these two simple phrases. Practice by listening and repeating. Do this several times until you feel like it's not difficult for you. That 
So what's the pronunciation exercise? So what is the tip? ¿Cuál fue el tip? Eh, lo negativo, alargar la N. Ajá, hay que alargar un poco la N para que se, se, se distinga, ¿verdad? Que es un negativo. So, el can de, de afirmativo suena más corto. Can. Another can. Okay, alargando un poquito la N para que se entienda que usted está haciendo una negación. Y el otro es practicar mucho, ¿verdad? Listen, practice, repeat. Listen, practice, and repeat. Okay. okay. So then we have a conversation. We're going to listen in on the video, and then we're going to practice it. If, I think that we will have chance to practice it. So let's watch it. Okay, me saco otra vez. Okay. Hi everyone. In this class, you'll learn to ask and answer questions using can for ability. Let's get started by listening to a conversation titled, I can't sing very well. This conversation illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. I can't sing. Oh, look, there's a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, no, I can't sing at all, but I can play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. Sure, why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Now let's analyze the examples on this chart. Can for ability. I can sing very well. You can sing very well. He can sing very well. She can't sing at all. We can't sing at all. They can't sing at all. Can you sing? Yes, I can. No, I can't. Can I sing? Yes, you can. No, you can't. Can he sing? Yes, he can. No, he can't. Can she sing? Yes, she can. No, she can't. Can we sing? Yes, we can. No, we can't. Can they sing? Yes, they can. No, they can't. What can I do? You can sing. Who can sing? Philip can. I would like to explain the usage of can. We can use can to express some kind of ability, whether that is related to sports, professional, something artistic, or something special. Singing is something that only a few people can do, and most people can't. In my case, I can't sing at all. Let me get started by explaining how to form statements with can. To do this, we can follow this formula. Subject plus can or can't plus the verb plus complement. Now let's analyze a couple of examples. I can sing very well. Now the subject is I. Then we're going to add can. After that, we have the verb sing. Uh, finally, we have a complement. Let's analyze one more example. She can't sing at all. The subject is she. Then we're going to add can't. After that, we have the verb sing. Finally, we can include a complement 
at all. Now let's learn how to form questions using can. To do this, we can follow this formula. The auxiliary can plus subject plus the verb plus a complement. Let's analyze a couple of examples to make sure we understand this topic. Can you sing? First, we need to add the auxiliary can. After that, we include the subject. Next, we have the verb sing and a question mark. Finally, we can include a complement. In these examples, there is no complement, but we could add something like at home. These are yes or no questions. So the way to answer this type of questions is quite simple. For the question, can you sing, we can answer positively by saying, yes, I can. And we can answer negatively by saying, no, I can't. Let's analyze one last example. Can he sing? First, we need the auxiliary verb can. After that, we include the subject he. Next, we have the verb sing and a question mark at the end. We can answer positively by saying, yes, he can. And we can answer negatively by saying, no, he can't. Now it's your turn to practice using can and can't. I would like for you to talk about your abilities and the abilities of your friends, family, and co-workers. For example, I can play tennis, but I can't play basketball. My co-worker can design websites. but he can't program. My daughter can play the piano, but she can't sing. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. Okay, so there we had the video. We're going to discuss about it. So the first thing that you heard was the conversation. Okay, this was a conversation that you listened there. So let us repeat at home. Let's repeat. Oh, look, there is a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. Oh, oh no, no, no. There, there is a talent contest on Saturday. Let's right. enter. I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? I, I can't enter, enter a talent, talent contest. Can I do? Can I do? Can I do? You can sing really well. You can, you sing, can sing really well. well. You can sing really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, oh, I can't. Oh, well. oh, no, I can't sing at all, but you can play the piano. Oh, no, oh, no. I, I can't, can't sing at all, but I can play, play the piano. So maybe we can enter the contest. So oh, maybe, maybe we can, can enter, enter the contest. contest. Sure, why not? Sure, no, why not? Why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Okay. okay. Let's practice tomorrow. Do you have any question about vocabulary? No. No question. No questions about vocabulary? Maybe. Question. Maybe it's like tal vez. Tal vez, ajá. Entonces, tal vez podamos entrar al, al, con, al concurso. That is contest. Contest. 
concurso. Ajá, es concurso. Contest. Concurso. And you sing a rap, yes. TV talent contest. 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 Mm -hmm. Okay, well, with the expression, it's another uh, very interesting aquí cuando dice at all. At, at all. all. Para at nada. All. Uh -huh. Es como decir para nada. So mm -hmm. it, I can't sing at all. No puedo mm -hmm. cantar mm -hmm. para nada. When you say at all, es como decir para nada. So if you can say, um, no puedo cocinar para nada. O sea, si ustedes de esas personas que se les quema hasta el agua, entonces usted mm. podría decir, I can't cook at all. No puedo cocinar para nada, ni idea, right? So mm -hmm. that's, in, that's very, like, useful <laughs> vocabulary. <laughs> mm. I and yo no puedo jugar ningún deporte. I can't play sports at all. Para nada, nada, ni idea. Teacher, yes? repeat please, maybe? Mm, maybe. Repeat, the, uh -huh. La pronunciación o, o el significado? Significado. Maybe es como decir tal vez. Okay. Tal yeah. vez. Maybe, tal vez. Okay. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Because probably es probablemente, but tienen como es un sinónimo, maybe, probably. Mm -hmm. Tal vez. Any other um, question about this? Okay, so uh, vamos a empezar un poco a práctica ahora. Tenemos todavía un minuto. So vamos a repetir la, la conversación una vez más y mañana la van a practicar en grupos, right? Y vamos okay. a terminar este tema mañana y probablemente empecemos el repaso. Let's repeat. Oh, look, okay. there is a talent contest on Saturday. Let's enter. Oh, look, there is a I can't enter a talent contest. What can I do? I can't can can enter a talent contest. I do. What can I do? I do. You can sing really well. You can, you can sing, sing really, well. Well. really well. Oh, thanks. Well, you can too. Oh, thanks. Oh, thanks. Well, you, can well, you can too. Oh, no. I can't sing at all, but I can play the piano. Oh, oh, no. no. Oh, I can sing at all. I can sing at all. So maybe we can enter the contest. So maybe, oh, maybe we can, can enter, enter the, contest. the contest. Sure, why not? Sure, sure why, not? why not? Okay, let's practice tomorrow. Okay, let's okay. practice okay. tomorrow. Oh. I see. Very good. So, guys, we're going to stop here, and tomorrow we will continue with this. So, sleep well, and see you tomorrow. Bye. Yo tengo una pregunta. Bye. 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 El jueves es la última clase. Sí, el jueves es la última clase. Yo creo que no voy a poder estar media hora. Ah, pero con que esté, aunque sea un ratito, es lo que cuenta. Vaya. Okay, see you. Bye, see you. Bye. Bye. See you.